Now, uh, LinkedIn is heavily used in Germany. So yes, please uh, apply for jobs on LinkedIn. But there are also different other websites. And there are also two very common and very effective channels that you can use to find a job in Germany, which I'm going to tell you at the end of this video. So please make sure you stay tuned until the end of the video. Welcome to my channel and today we are going to discuss about top websites that you can use to find a job in Germany in 2024. Now these are certain websites that even I use to hire candidates for various domains. We are going to talk about some common websites and also different ways that you can use in these common websites and also some uncommon websites that you can use to find a right job. I hope this session is going to be very helpful for you in case if you're finding a job in Germany from your home country or in, from within Germany itself. Also during this entire session, I'm going to share a lot of tips and tricks with you as an HR, what we actually look for in a candidate, which is really going to help you in your application process. So stay tuned until the end of the session and I hope this helps you find a right job in Germany. Thank you. So, of course, the most common website that is uh, famous in Germany to apply for the jobs is LinkedIn. No doubt about it. So, definitely, you should first go to LinkedIn and try to find a job for yourself. Now, I'll show you what are the different ways that you can find a job from LinkedIn. Uh, so, for example, in this case, we are going to take a job of a software engineer. Now, I'm going to, of course, mention the title and the, and the uh, country as Germany. And I'm going to find uh, the list of the jobs and I can apply for the jobs. Now, uh, uh, one tip here is in case if the job is in German, but still I would say go ahead and apply for the job even if you don't know German language. You know, sometimes uh, if your skill set is really good, companies take an exception. And in case in the interview process, if you're showing that willingness that you are, you will learn German in future and your technical st skills are very strong, then companies will take that exception. Some companies do. So take that risk and go ahead and apply for the jobs even if they are mentioned in German. But in this case, it is clearly mentioned German is a plus. So please go ahead and apply for this job in case if you're looking for a senior software engineer. Now, uh, what happens in LinkedIn is once you find a job with the title, uh, with the country name, you get this list of jobs. Now, I see 24,000 results here. So those are the list of jobs that I'm getting here. But what you can also do is you can also try to find a job from small cities. Go, go to Google Maps and try to find the list of cities in Germany and then try to find a job in small cities. So what happens is a uh, lot of candidates apply for job in major cities, say Berlin, Munich, Frankfurt, and then they, these uh, companies get a lot of applications. But in the small cities, uh, the number of applicants is less. So now when the competition is less, you have higher chances of getting a call. So always apply for small cities as well in case if this is the first time move in Germany and you're trying to find a job. That will really help you get an interview call. Now, uh, that is one tip. Then the next tip is... You are searching for a software engineer, but don't just use that title. Try to use different titles because every company uses different titles uh, and they have different hierarchy. So try to use and play with the titles and then find a job and you will get more and more job uh, results. So for example, I can also put here as a full stack developer in Hamburg and then I can search a job. I can also put as software consultant, uh, software architect. So that different, uh, you know, there are different titles that you can use to find a job in Germany. Uh, so do that. And then the next thing is one thing that I want to tell you about LinkedIn is see LinkedIn will always first show the promoted jobs and LinkedIn, the companies as a company, as a recruiter, I have to buy the LinkedIn license to promote this job or to publish a job. So a lot of companies will definitely buy LinkedIn because that's the primary source here. And then uh, it's, it's published here. But there are also some companies who have published the job on LinkedIn, but they are not promoted. You know, they have the basic package or they don't have the promotion. So that, those uh, jobs you will never find on the first page. So always go on on uh, you know the multiple pages or always go on pages that are until the end and that's where you're going to find more and more jo jobs in Germany. Now, uh, LinkedIn is heavily used in Germany. So yes, please uh, apply for jobs on LinkedIn. But there are also different other websites and there are also two very common and very effective channels that you can use to find a job in Germany, which I'm going to tell you at the end of this video. So please make sure you stay tuned until the end of the video. 
Now the next job, uh, the next website that you can use is Zing. Uh, now Zing is something very similar as LinkedIn. So basically Zing is LinkedIn for Germany. So here again, you create your profile. Say for example, I've created my profile and you go ahead and you connect with people. Uh, so very similar to what LinkedIn works, but only for Germany. Now here you can go to find jobs again, add a title, add the location and search the job. You, you will find a lot of jobs here. The trick is even if a job is in German, uh, you translate it and you apply for the job and read through the job de uh, description. If they are looking for C1 German language and you know A1, maybe your chances are not high. But if they are looking for B1, B2 and you know A1, I think there are still chances where you can convince them with your technical skills and learn German language. Now, the third website that is very uh, commonly used in Germany is stepstone.de. Don't worry, I'm going to paste all these links in the description uh, below so you can use these links now when you go to stepstone.de you are going to find the jobs mainly in german so as a recruiter when i want to hire german speaking candidates i go ahead and post my jobs on stepstone.de because that that attracts a lot of local crowd so uh in case if but that doesn't mean that you should still not go and search jobs here. Please go, please search the jobs. Even if the job is mentioned here in, say, uh, German, translate it and then go ahead and apply for the jobs. So this is another uh, good website that you can use. Now, the other three common websites that we have uh, that, that that are known worldwide is definitely Glassdoor, Indeed and Monster. So these are also three websites that you can use to find a job in Germany, which is pretty straightforward. So I'm not going to uh, uh, show a lot of details here right but what are the uncommon websites now there's another website that's called berlin startup jobs so the startup job here you can find a lot of startups who published jobs in uh in berlin and you it jobs non-it jobs mainly it jobs and you can go ahead and uh, apply from here as well then there is another website in case if you're a fresher on an intern and entry level jobs you need, then there's another website called Absolventa. You can use this website to find uh, entry level jobs. They also have experienced jobs, but those are less compared to other websites. So this is another website that you can use. Now, uh, what are different ways? So, so now I'm going to show you a very interesting factor. Now, let's see if I Google total number of IT companies here in Germany. And I get this result, which is 94,000. Now see, out of this 94,000, even if 10% of the companies are hiring right now, which will be around, uh, say, 9,000. Now, out of this 9,000, say, at least 10% are in the same domain that you are looking for. So that will be around 900. So basically, you have 900 good companies to apply for in case if you're looking for IT com IT jobs. Now, these 900 companies, not all of these companies are going to be on LinkedIn, Stepstone or different websites, right? Everybody has their own channel. So basically what you need to do is you need to find the list of these companies and then you need to go on their career page and apply for the, the, the jobs on their career website directly. So just to give you an example, what, what is the best way to do that? Say, I will say startups in Berlin. Okay. So here, when I go uh, there, I get 121 best Berlin startups. And then I also go uh, to growth mentor and I get startups in Berlin in uh, 2023. Right. So all you need to do is you, you can cross this. All you need to do is you need to find those companies go to their website, go to their career page and find a relevant job and apply for it. So like this, you can easily find list of so many companies who are hiring, which commonly people don't look for. They just go for LinkedIn, Indian, Watchtower, and they just apply for those jobs. But you can find so many jobs which are not available in the market directly, you know. And similarly here, see fastest growing startup in Berlin. Now this is just the list I'm finding in Berlin. Like this, you can find in every different city or you can also give a broader term say list of startups in germany or list of it companies in germany and find the names and then go to each of these websites and if you have a relevant job go to their careers page if you have a relevant job then please apply for it every company will have a career page 
Now, this comes to a very important tip that I wanted to share. The very important tip is the one very good channel to send your application in Germany is through a career website of a company. It's very important for you to find, uh, to go to the company's website and then apply for the job. So that's a very commonly known channel here in Germany. Now, which is the second common channel uh, here in Germany, which can be very, very beneficial for you as a candidate. It's referrals. Referrals play a major role in your application process here in Germany. Everybody takes referrals very seriously and they make sure at least they are having the first call with the candidate. So in case if you know somebody in the company in the same domain or in a different domain, always contact them and try to send your application through referrals. Uh, in case if you do not know anybody, then that's exactly why you have LinkedIn for. You go ahead and you do a company search. When you do a company search, find the people working in those company and somebody who's working in your similar domain so that you can go ahead and ping them and message them that there's an opening. I would like to apply. Can you help me with it? I'm interested to apply. And say out of 10 messages that you send, even if nine people are going to reject your message, at least one person is going to reply. And if one person replies, then your one application goes ahead. So these are different websites that you can use and these are different methods that you can use or not many people are using definitely if you apply for jobs like this you are going to get interview calls irrespective wherever you are applying from some rule of the application process for all the candidates it's a process do not give up don't apply for two jobs in a day and then complain that i'm not getting in any interview calls that's not going to happen in case if you want to apply seriously and want to find a job then at least apply for 10 to 20 jobs in a day that is minimum i'm talking about so when you apply for say 20 jobs in a day then in a week you will have close to 80 applications or 100 applications and that's when you are going to get results and that's where you're going to get interview calls now applying is one thing but what is very important is having a right resume and because your resume will only get shortlisted if it is right and it is if it is as per company norms and as per the job description now if you want to know how you create a right resume or find the right keywords there is another detailed video that i have created that will help you identify the right keywords from the job description and that is going to drastically change your application process and you're going to get more interview calls i'm very sure about it so please watch that video and in case if you want one-to-one -one consultation you can always book my slot there is a link in the description below and i'm more than happy to help you I hire for a lot of people here in Germany for various jobs. So you can also follow me on LinkedIn where I keep posting different openings that keeps coming in Germany. And uh, I hope this helps you find the right job. Uh, in case if you want to know anything more about the job process in Germany, please mention in the comment section and I'm more than happy to help you. So thank you so much. Have a great day ahead and wish you all the best.